Hello, 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 guys. Here is going to be a box opening for a body. And I bought this body secondhand. Um, <laughs> it actually entirely slipped my mind what the name of the body was. And I cannot think of it for the life of me, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be listed somewhere in there. Um, we decided, I think, to ship without the original box, um, just because I'm at an APO location and um, shipping can be a little difficult with certain um, shipping um, services. So, yeah. You can see that this box got quite a bit mangled, so I'm hoping there's nothing missing since it's open here and it's open on the other side. I removed my address, that's the only thing I did, just so we can kind of keep this on the video in case there's damages for a USPS claim. Um, this is a body that I bought, it's a, a smaller SD, um, and it's, it's really, really pretty, and it looked like the neck could be very, very close to fitting my my UZ head, but, but, um, that head is technically MSD, um, according to measurements-ish, or according to the maker, and this is a small SD body, but I find her head fairly big, so I was hoping that, like, a smaller SD body would work, because it also has a very odd neck size, and, <clears throat> and this hopefully, um, will do. I'm going to check this to make sure there's nothing in here in a little bit. Let's just kind of get all this out. So it is unstrung. So I'm going to be unwrapping with you guys or is it just folded in? Let's see. Um, if I can spring it quickly, because it looks like it's only partially unstrung then I can do it on camera. Otherwise, I will string her and come back when she is strung. There's her papers. It's a copy of purchase receipt. Uh, let's see. Uh, that is not it. I'm trying to find the, I think it's Angel Studio. Female Exquisite Body Angel Workshop BJD Body Parts. Yep, it's Angel Studio Body. Um, really gorgeous. I am hoping it'll work because it's to have a more realistic look. Usually the heads are a dash bit smaller, kind of like Supia dolls or so. So I'm hoping that this may actually maybe work. And if not, I do have an Amadis head as well. But I think that that one then will be too big. <laughs> so we shall find out. I also bought her some lovely shoes that the seller had that fit this body perfectly that she ordered from that site together with this body. So let's unwrap. I don't know if there's anything in here, but it just, oh, it's just a little, just used as a cushion. Okay. All right. Just making sure I'm not throwing anything out that we don't want to throw out. So here is the legs. Oh, so beautiful. So this is actually a brand new body that she just received or had just received. Oh, it has silicon kips in it already, which is pretty cool. I've never had that. Is the other one in here or is this just a... Okay, there is one silicon kip. <laughs> There's none in the other. Um, maybe it's somewhere. I'll double check everything, but here's the lower half. Really beautiful. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Let's get the upper half. I'm going to bring you a little closer now that the box is out of the way. We can bring you closer. Sorry, it's going to be a little bumpy. There we go. Just so you can see a little bit better. And then um, we're going to open this. So I've been pretty busy on the side, finally starting to work a little bit on my own dolls instead of horns since I've shipped out the last of the commissions today. So they're all out and all done and completed and whoop whoop. <laughs> I am so happy about that. Um, okay, so I'm gonna string that not on camera, but she should come with, let's see. So there's little extra hooks and there's an extra hand, closed hand. And then, oh, nice. That is beautiful. Look at the sculpting. It's pretty. It's very pretty. Yep. And then these go in here for the wrist. 
which is nice. So it gives you like extra parts, with, which is actually pretty sweet. <clears throat> so I'll put this to the side so I don't lose any of that because these are some very small little S hooks. And I'll put that over here. And then, oh, there's more hands, huh? <laughs> so many hands. I even forgot that she had extra hands. Oop. There's some plastic clips. I don't know what these are for. If they have, if they serve a purpose, but I'm gonna just put it aside with it to see later. The resin quality is gorgeous. It's just like like Doll Chateau, um, very similar. Oh, I see. She doesn't. They're fixed. Uh, I may have to check if I can get different leg parts for that because I actually aren't necessarily too fond of it. And she's single jointed, which is fine. I prefer double jointed, but that's okay. And then here is the shoes. And the head may actually be too small for this. But look at those beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shoes. And they, they fit her like a glove. Like, I, I saw the pictures. She showed me a picture of the fit, and I was just like, yep. Yeah, these have to go with the body. They belong together. I'm sorry. I'm out of the picture. I'm just trying to do this with the camera in my face. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, I'm going to string her together, get it set up, and then I shall be back. All right, I am back. So you can see I strung her and I put my Amadis head on um, because the other head was just way too silly. That wouldn't even fit. So um, even though the neck would have been great for that head, the head itself is simply too small. But I put the, the shoes on to show absolutely gorgeous. Um, I have to look if there is another kip somewhere because there's one in here and none in here. Um, which is kind of funny, but overall the resin is super smooth, very, very solid. Um, she moves beautifully. Her arms are wired already, her legs are not, um, but the wire was included. There's, oh, there's some little magnets and some sandpaper as well. Um, so I, I may or may not wire her legs. She will not keep this head. This head is actually planned for a different doll, um, different doll body. Um, I also don't like the movement. So back is fine, but forward, it just doesn't, it doesn't have a whole lot of range on this. So um, I'll definitely be finding a different body for this and the other girl will stay on my raccoon doll body and I will just, keep an eye out for something else but this is a, a very very beautiful body um she does have i believe mobility to, oh yep it clicks into place you can hear it there's some some movement there um her knee is single jointed i believe yep yep single jointed so she can definitely go pretty high considering Oh, snip my finger. Don't spite. <laughs> and then let's see about this. She's strung very tight. Uh, I don't see her holding in place. Okay, sideways she does a little. She might just need a little bit of movement with time. Um, the head fits quite well but I find it just a dash bit not fitting. I mean, the color is entirely off. This is a very fleshy skin tone and this is more like a, a white. Um, I believe it's white. Um, so that doesn't work very well. But that being said, the color match would have been quite good. That's clearly not gonna work. So yeah, but this is the Angel Studio body that I ordered second hand but it was brand new just received never used so it's a brand new body and it's gorgeous wonder if she she can stand it might be a little hard but the the shoes are just absolutely gorgeous so 
I am not sure what I'm going to be doing with this body now um, that the head didn't work out. I don't know if it'll go back on the market or if I'm going to keep it because it's very, very beautiful. And it's such nice quality too. It's beautiful quality, so I really like it. So I might just either hunt for a different head or I'm going to put it in a box for a little while and just hold on to it until I have plans. But she's very, very gorgeous. Or maybe I do like a Supia Elf hybrid with this body that'd be really pretty too all right guys um i'm gonna cut this short because i have to soon get my kiddos out of school and i gotta clean up before i do that or well my one kid one is at home sick and then um i'll be back again later with some more pictures of the wigs i'm working on and the modifications and yeah see you later thanks for watching bye